beautiful world. So today is the start of Epilepsy Awareness Month in the States. So I figured what better time to talk about epilepsy and seizures. Today's topic is going to be about da -da, epilepsy and seizure recovery. Okay, so I'm pretty sure if you've seen my videos before, then you know how to take care of a seizure while it's happening. You make sure that the person is laying on their side and that their head is supported so that like their neck is straight so that like the spit can come out of their mouth uh, while they're having the seizure. And make sure not to put anything in their mouth while they're having the seizure because that could make them choke and even break their teeth or something like that. And um, pretty much just move anything that is in the way um, so that the person has room so they also don't break anything while they're having the seizure. And yeah, so recovery. Recovery is so important. I actually read um, on a site, I'm not gonna say which one, um, but it suggested that a person having a seizure, that after their seizure, they tend to feel normal in their recovery time. And I, I know what you're trying to say, but... I've never felt normal right after a seizure and maybe I'm just, you know, misreading or there's a misunderstanding with what this particular organization has described. But after a seizure, especially tonic-clonic seizures, uh, for me personally, I am totally out of it. I feel like I'm super dizzy and I just, I'm like hazy and just, my vision is all over the place. I can't see things straight. My, my balance is way off and it's pretty much hard to do anything and even thinking of things to say and you know asking about things or just talking about anything right after a seizure is pretty difficult and it's just it's really stressful because I know for me, when I try to ask about things, I have it in my head. I have the whole thing in my head, but it doesn't seem to come out. Like, I could say, oh, uh, can I have this pretty rose that's right here, but that doesn't come out. It's in my head. The sentence is in my head. and. I try to say it, but it ends up coming out gibberish, and it can be really frustrating. So, what I have here is tips to help someone who is just recovering from a seizure, so that it is um, easy, well, more easy than it usually is, and a lot less stref stressful than it is on a regular basis. Okay, so first things first. Make sure you always, always, always reassure the person right after the seizure and continue to reassure them until they are fully alert. This will help them to recover faster and not to freak out 
and it's important to keep calm and you know always have a calm voice and uh, try to be as soothing as possible um, because at this time of course the person is going to be out of it they're not gonna even know who they are um, it's, it, it's all confusing at that point. Everything is confusing and like it's just like the brain has just restarted pretty much and is just rebooting has got no memory whatsoever at that moment. So you, it's important to keep calm and keep soothing them just so you know there's no like oh my god what, what just happened kind of thing. Or more like a now second you're going to want to check for injuries and also definitely loosen any tight clothing around the neck or the waist because you don't want that person to have any trouble breathing uh, if they are having trouble breathing and you've already done the loosening of the neck and the waist um, clothing, then um, be sure to very gently uh, put your finger in their mouth and take out any vomit or saliva that might be stuck in there uh, that might be obstructing their airways. And so, like I said, check for injuries because if the person has fallen, they might have hit their head or, you know, um, hit their body, hit their torso on the corner or something that just it causes a really bad bruise and lots of tenderness and I know for a fact uh, I even had a seizure yesterday and I know for a fact that like the muscles in my neck right now are still very very tense even though I've already worked them out since the seizure and it it's a little bit better now, but uh, even after working the mouth and like you know trying to relax them, it it can be a real pain after the seizure. So keeping a close eye on any injuries that might have happened during the seizure. Okay, so third, make sure you provide a safe place for the person to rest and lay on their side and make sure that it's on their side. Even if they are out of the seizure, make sure they are still on their side so that they are uh, not having any chance of choking on saliva or any vomit that might um, occur after the seizure. If, even if they are really thirsty and they ask you for water, for food, um, you don't give it to them until they are fully alert because there is a chance that they could choke on it because I know for me personally uh, right after a seizure I can't have anything because I will try to drink something and then it'll go down the wrong pipe and and it's over so just make sure that you're aware of that okay so fourth you are going to want to stay with them until they are fully aware and this is very important um, because if they try to go and do something on their own like if they try to go to the bathroom on their own they might end up falling on their face and I know that's actually happened to me a few times um, but it, it's very dangerous for a person to be alone at, right after they've had their seizure and also it, there's a possibility that there might be another seizure uh, that occurs right after that one and it's important for somebody to be there to be aware and you know make sure that the person is safe and that they're in a proper position and you know, that, that they're aware of their surroundings and, you know, helping them to, I guess, the, not the right word, but like the, the best word to describe it is to help them come back to reality, to come back to, to their normal state of mind. So number five is really important because 
you have to make sure that you find out uh, if there was a reason behind the seizure, um, if it wasn't just a random seizure that happened, if the person forgot their medication, or if they were late for a medication, uh, if they didn't eat in time because, you know, uh, your electrolytes, not eating enough can actually cause a really bad problem when, when the blood sugar is too low. Um, not being hydrated enough, so not drinking enough water throughout the day. That is really, really, really important because I've had seizures caused by dehydration so many times that it's not even funny. Um, it wouldn't be funny in any way, but, um, just, I can't stress enough how important it is not to yell at the person if they've broken anything and not to have any kind of negative um, reaction to their seizure um, or like yell at them or even yell at anything else. Don't, don't show any negative emotions after a person has had a seizure. Um, because, you know, uh, even yelling at the TV after a person has had a seizure can really affect their mood because I know for me personally, my emotions are very delicate. So even if, uh, let's say my mom is yelling at the chair and it's not directed at me at all. There is no, there's no possible way that it could be directed at me. And because I've had a seizure, because I'm in a delicate state of mind, then I automatically go into a really depressed state. And especially for someone who already has depression on a and is just dealing with it on a regular basis, you know, um, it's important not to, I guess, mm, slip and make it worse for the person after they've had the seizure and because the mind is a very powerful thing and it is, it, it can be very scary at times. So when you're taking care of this person, make sure that the environment is calm. So turns out my body decided that I was going to have a seizure and yeah. So that's it for me. I have said pretty much everything that is important for everybody to know about everything after a seizure uh, in recovery time. And um, make sure to be careful, especially if somebody bites their tongue because that's going to be very sore and it's going to hurt a lot uh, if you don't take care of it. Um, I love you guys. Make sure you check out my other channels. My comedy channel and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays and my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. Love you guys. Bye.